It's the internet, you're busy, let's do this. This is the Disney Afternoon Collection. It is a new game. It's a collection of old games from Disney and Capcom. Uh, these are a bunch of games that came out way back in the day that, well, yeah, 1989, so it's right there, for the NES mostly. Um, I think all these games actually were NES games, and they are all based on the afternoon cartoons from the Disney Channel, Disney, Disney Network, whatever it was called. Um, Let's, uh, we're just going to go through and play some of these. I, I, some of these I've played, some of them I haven't. Um, DuckTales, I've definitely I played some of, but I don't think I've played most of these other ones. Uh, they, they came out pretty late in the cycle for the Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, well into uh, an era when Super Nintendo came out. So let's go ahead and just kind of hop in and see what, they, what they're like and how they hold up. Let's start with uh, DuckTales right here. It's probably the most well-known. Yeah. Uh, so yes, I, I actually. Well, I guess we should talk about like the music and everything and the presentation. The very 1990s. It's got like a trapper keeper background there. Um, and then you have these options. You can just play the game, time attack, boss rush. Uh, there's a, a tutorial. Well, let's just let's hop right in and see what it's like. Oh, so cool. So there's a rewind. And a pause, and this is like the not not the in-game pause, but an entire system pause for the emulator that's running this game. Let's see what options we have here. Oh yeah, monitor, TV. I don't know what the difference is there? There we go. Okay, so the original is just a. I that's not really original because I'm running this on a 4K monitor, and if, if it was really in the original aspect ratio, it would be, or the original pixel ratio, it would be very very tiny. So let's go. Let's go full. Let's leave the border on. I don't want. I don't want wide. And let's leave it with the TV scan lines. And hop back in there and see what it's like. And now it looks like a little bit like a TV. All right. Cool. Let's do normal. I'm gonna go to the Amazon. Gold. Everyone knows Scrooge McDuck's famous line, GOLD! But everyone does know his famous attack, uh oh, I'm already messing up, where he, uh, jumps on people's heads with his cane. There we go. And you're able to, uh, um, back, do back to back, like, just jumping on things, and if you, yeah, you can just keep going forever. And this is a, a, a gameplay mechanic that I think this game is most well known for, and probably the most easily recognizable thing from any of these games. Uh, just playing a Scrooge McDuck, jumping on top of everything, and then getting eaten by the Piranha Plant. Let's yeah, take that snake. You're not gonna tempt me to eat the apple, because I'm only about gold. <laughs> I was gonna have Mike do this with me because Mike's a huge Disney fan, but I prefer just saying random shit that doesn't make any sense for uh, these brands. And hopefully he watches and gets really mad. Well, or he watches and gets really mad at how terrible I am. But, I, I mean, I'll, I'll say that these are pretty good ports. Alright, let me hit this button. Let's try, let's see what monitors like, see if that's any different. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go. We'll just try wide. See what it's. See what it looks like. Yeah, that's that's gonna mess with my brain a little too much. That's a little too ugly. Up and away. I've already collected all those things, so I don't have to do it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. It kind of feels like if you had a vault full of gold coins, you would never go out and do this shit. But, I don't know, maybe the story is that someone stole all this Disney gold. Um, 
So yeah, I, I mean, I honestly, I feel like I could just start playing this game and try to actually beat it all in one go. Uh, it's still very good. Let's uh, go back to the... Oh, I, never, I didn't do the monitor look. Alright. Go back to the original. See if this looks any different. A little bit. The monitor's a little bit cleaner version um, of the pixels. Okay, no, a, a much cleaner version. It's almost like post-it notes on my screen here. That's intense. Oh, those, are, those are some clean pixels. Give me all the pixels. Yeah! Invisible, Invincible Scrooge McDuck. This is my favorite thing from the cartoons. When he would flash and become so invincible that if he touched something, that it would die. Um, I believe that's how Huey or Louie, one of them died in that episode. Again, I'm just making stuff up, and I'm having a pretty good time doing it. God damn it. Oh yeah, I can rewind. What am I doing? Alright, let's take advantage of that. So, I mean, I, that means I gotta be like really stupid with the way I play. And then just do this. Okay, so yeah, this is... Uh, so if you're wondering, no, Rewind wasn't in the originals. This is something that's in a lot of emulators. And almost it's like, why even take it out? Because, I mean, people wanna play these games. There's really easy, if shady, ways to do that online. Um, and a lot of times it comes with features like the ability to rewind. B, come on. There we go. Alright. Alright, we'll get to the end of this level. And then we will move on with our lives to the next game. I was surprised when Disney announced this a little bit. Um, I'm glad they did. Maybe they saw how well the uh, NES Classic Edition did. Like, oh, we should have got in on that with these games. But maybe, if they do an NES Classic Edition 2, which they might, now that they've canceled the original. <laughs> nope, rewind! See? Screw you, B. Oh, sweet. So just, did every animal in the world come and steal my gold? And so, like, a bee's got some of my gold. A bear. A Mega Man boss. Come here, you turd. What, what is even... What is this, even? So that's all you're gonna do. You're just gonna get me across a gap. Seems like a waste of resources. Oh, shit. Down here? Maybe one of those. Cool. No, you didn't hit me though. Rewind the tape. Did you hit me? I don't think so. What were you, you were just flying outside? What are you doing in here? Duck tails. Duck tails. You want to lift back to Duckbird, Mr. McD? Yes, A, B, no. Whoa! Whoa! Run! Okay. There we go. Whoa! Ancient dogs throwing spears. Oh yeah, take that. Touch my flashing form and pay the price. How dare you look upon a god. Pay $300,000 to pass through here. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Did I have $300,000? That's pretty intense. Did 
I just collected $300,000 by running around. Oh no, one of the little shits. Take that. Use your cane to defeat the treasure. Keepers, okay. I want to defeat, I want to defeat this child. I just think someone should teach him a lesson. I just hate to see a duck child go unbeaten. No, no, that didn't happen. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go back to TV. Let's get those them dirty pixels. Let's go back to full. Actually, no. Let's let's do filter off and see the cleanest pixels. All right. Yeah. It's pretty intense too. To see a game. Look, that soul looks so crisp and clean. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Maybe I can. Nope, apparently not. Okay, but you know what? You know what we can do? We can play a different game. Let's save this. Okay. Quit. DuckTales, woo. -woo. Alright, Chipsendale, Chipsendale? <laughs> Chippendale Rescue Rangers. No, I, I don't know if I know what a Chippendale is supposed to be a reference to. Like, a Chippendale dancer is the only thing I know. And I'm assuming that is probably, it must be something else as well. Because why would Disney reference Chippendale dancers for its afternoon cartoon featuring squirrels? Chip or Dale? I gotta say, I am probably a Dale guy. Alright, alright, I would seem like a Dale guy. But I'm going Chip. You know? I'm going Chip. Okay, gang, we have a new assignment. Our cute little neighbor, Mandy. Oh, I just hit start. Okay, well, whatever. You know what? I think I did play this a little bit, and I don't remember much. I just have apples. Apples? Can I destroy robotic dogs that are microscopic or and then I hit cactuses? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Can't go back. Can't turn to the left. Yeah, do, 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 do. Take that, you stupid dog, you mangy mud. Whoa! Well, okay. Rewind. Rewind. This is where we find out that Angelica really loves Hamilton as well. Yeah. So this is like just like an action platformer is what this is like, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, these are all NES games, so no nothing here is going to be revolutionary. It's going to be pretty basic stuff that you would expect from an NES game. Although, this is a pretty revolutionary. Uh, Angry Frog Bee attacking for me. Yeah, I'm into it. Kill. Kill my beauty! Nope. Oh, what the hell? Off. Give me the acorn of power. Oh, you could die, huh? <laughs> Alright, whatever. I, I don't care. I don't even know what those things are doing. I just have a bad problem with collecti like collectibles and video games. I just need another hit, man. Whoa, no you didn't. Whoa. 
So, it's it's definitely cheating to use the rewind, but it's so easy, it's right there, I, I, I don't care. Take that. Satellite dish, the size of a squirrel. Or a chipmunk. I keep calling him Squirrel, and he's definitely a chipmunk, because it's Chippendale... in our brains now. So first puzzle. Oh my god. Just there we go. Hooray. We're genius. Okay. So let's let's try another game. Moving on. Tailspin. I hope this is just a straight up shooter. I hope this is like 1942 or something. Wake up, Baloo. We've got lots of work today. I've lined up... I was going to rhyme there. I was going to work to do. I've lined up eight assignments already. So get out of your hammock and shake a leg. And by the way, Baloo, Don Carnage and the pirates are intercepting cargo planes. So do me a favor. Be careful. Why does everyone get assignments in these games? They're all so they're busy workers. Busy bees. Here's your first assignment. Fly over the sea. Okay. And you, <laughs> here's your first assignment. Fly over the sea and die. Find your destination, but watch out for Don Carnage. He may be waiting for you. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Alright, come on. I'm into it. I get it. Alright, it is a shooter. Interesting. It's not that good because like you can just fire one bullet a minute. How come he's got super bullets? Alright then. I'll rewind. And I take back my time. And I fly again. You're not gonna get me this time, Bubble Boy. Bubble Boy. Bubble boy. Starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Baloo. Whoa. Whoa, I can turn upside down because of course I can. Yeah, but that was the whole thing, right? He did that in the cartoon. Oh, this is to go backwards. That's really cool. I get it now. Man, I, I actually really like that. That's neat. No. This is intense. I have like a huge hitbox or something. We're going way back. We're gonna do this whole thing over. Treasures are like, they, they like blend in with the level, so it's hard to see sometimes. Rewind. These things are so, it's like you can't shoot fast enough to really do anything about these assholes.
ship. Money bags. I really feel like I'm like doing awesome, but I have to remember that I just rewind every time I screw up anything. <laughs> I don't know if that, I mean, I, I like this, but the shooting really is a bummer. Like, I wish they would just turn it into a, uh... Like, this feels way more difficult than a shooter that has a ton of, um... Like, it's almost like a, the, the bullet hull shooters would be easier, just because, like, I can only fire, like, once a second. shooting him for the first half of the battle. Job well done! Okay. Moving on. That was Tailspin. Let's do Darkwing Duck. I have no idea what this is. I'm pretty sure I never touched this. I may have, like, seen it on the shelf at Blockbuster Video when I was renting games. But by then I was well onto the Super Nintendo, so I, I don't... I don't... I wouldn't have cared about this. Once again, we need your help, Darkwing. A mysterious crime wave has launch... Launch pad will... Oh, I must have skipped. Where should we go now? Um, let's go to the bridge. Quacker Jack and his henchmen are blocking the construction of the new bridge. You better stop him before someone gets hurt. Do you want to go there? I do. I am the knight. Darkwing deck. Oh good, I have the same weapon as Blue in his ship. Oh man, this is pretty cool. Alright, can I hang on to the moon? Man, the moon is just right there and it's just flying by. The moon's going a thousand miles an hour. Pretty neat, actually. Do I have a double jump? I wish I had a double jump. Nope, you didn't hit me. I like this is just a series of things to hang on. I wonder if I can. that hook. I want that I want that free guy up there. Piss. Alright, this game's uh it does have some real novelty to it that I think a lot of other games didn't have till Super Nintendo. Maybe I mean I'm sure Super Nintendo games had come out by now. And maybe it was taking its influence from those games instead of, uh, simply just other NES games. It's far more complex, just the ability to hang, um, is something I don't think was in very many NES games. I'm sure it was in some. Bionic Commando, I guess. Uh, it's definitely an, exam an example, but it just you don't expect it in one of these, um, uh, licensed games. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, we saw, like, how simple some of those other ones were. And this is definitely trying to up that, that ante. I, I also really adore how they're, how... 
the, the mechanic is to hang on to stuff, so there's a million things to hang on to. Like, they make sure you know. Yeah, take that, you stupid bat. Gold! <laughs> Alright. I'm digging this. Now, this is a game I feel like I really could play all the way through. Feels very modern, which again is a, is a, a, a real surprise. Whoa! I mean, especially with the rewind. I, I mean, I could play through this without really a challenge. It's just I get to experience the game. I mean, I, I probably should challenge myself some. I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough thing. I wish I could. Just Turn off the uh, the rewind or forget about it and not see it, because um, otherwise I am gonna I am gonna use it. friggin' door closed. Okay. I want to go up. These guys are annoying and hard. I wonder if I have any abilities. Heavy gas. Yeah, I took that. Worth it. What are these? What are these things? Yeah. Whoa, okay. I'm trying to take on the Noid and Mr. and like a weird Mr. Potato Head. Like throwing banana peels at me or bacon? Oh man. How many times do I have to hit this stupid clown? go. Take that. Take your stupid friend with you. Job well done. Man, all these games had a very similar uh, structure, huh? Was this the first, like, cinematic universe or game universe? I mean, I guess the, they were all part of the same cartoon universe, weren't they? Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay. So, I'm gonna save that, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to you. What's next? DuckTales 2, Chippendales 2, and then that. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just let's check these out. See if there's anything to this. 
1993, very late for an SNES, or a NES game. Alright. Let's, let's just do it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be, like, a level pack. It's going to be the same game. Oh, uh, I guess I can choose my level. I don't care. Let me go. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's the same thing, but maybe with, um... A bit more flash in the graphics with, like, waterfalls left, and, uh... I don't know. We'll see if there's anything else to this. Ice cream? child. Watch your step, Uncle Scrooge. Euro has created Gyra... Oh, whatever. Okay, but this is basically the same thing. We're gonna... We'll see if there's any difference to Chippendale 2. Probably not. 1994. Man. Capcom must have had one hell of a deal with, uh... with Disney. Give me Chip. Give me a chip. That's what I always yell. Whenever I'm on the Disney Channel, I don't care what show's on, I yell, give me chip. Oh man, the rocket's here. We're breaking someone out of prison? Yeah, so this is, this is also more of the same. Picking up boxes and throwing them. Okay, well, I, I guess that's good to know. Eh, interesting. Um, but I, think I can't go in the cup. My life is ruined. So I think that's going to do it, actually. We're going to wrap up there. Actually, wrap up. Let's go back to this main menu. With this dope music. Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. That's the Disney Afternoon Collection. I, it's out soon. Um, it, it costs money. <laughs> Let's just check. Let's see how much it costs. Store page. $20. Um, it's available April, April 18th, that's tomorrow, for $20. Uh, I, I mean, it's on the border of being worth it. Some of those games are interesting, some of them uh, you'll remember, and that Darkwing Duck game, I was really enjoying that. I hope it continues to be that, that interesting and that, that well-made. Um, but other than that, it, I don't think, I'll probably never play Chip, Chip and Dale um, and Tailspin. So, really, DuckTales, DuckTales 2, and Darkwing Duck are the only thing there for me. And I'm not sure if that's worth 20 bucks, but that's up for you to decide. Uh, thanks for watching. I will catch everybody next time. Thanks, and I'll see you then.